Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory. Infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachah Kodash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name and His only begotten Son, true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. Also, to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites in these last days. Also, to give Shalom to all the sincere brothers that's pushing, teaching truth worldwide, and Shalom to all you sincere believers. All right, here, uh, landbacking, you know, once again concerning the news, concerning what's, what's trending in the world, all right, in a, in a, in a trending topic, you know, and those that are involved, man, especially being Kyrie Irving, of course, Kanye West, and others, you know, other networks and uh, podcasts, and everyone that's speaking on the matter at hand, man. And it's all concerning the Hebrew Israelites. It's all concerning the truth of the Bible. Okay, there, there, and it's, it's and it's concerning our enemy, man. All right, according to the Bible, Esau, Edom, the so-called white nation that has come up against the truth. All right, consistently all throughout all throughout history, even in today's time, and it's and it's shown to our people each and every day. Our people, of course, the pe being the chosen people of the Bible, the Hebrew Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans who are scattered worldwide, man. OK. But the thing of the matter is, and, you know, when what's going on in the news, what's recently happened. All right. Kyrie Irving, you know, after, you know, pushing or, you know, acknowledging the truth, because that's what the, and that's what the Lord has done. man. He has stirred up the, the spirit of this world, man. He has stirred it up. All right. With controversy. All right, he has stood. He has put the truth in the mix, man. It's the trending topic, okay? And it's and then as as the scriptures mention in the book of Corinthians, you can do nothing against the truth before the truth. All right, because as of, as of right now, the small hats and the media and the coons of our own people think they have won the battle. Oh, they suspended him. They they got him to apologize. They have they have gotten him to somewhat uh, attempt to donate five hundred thousand. All right. All these such things, they feel like they win. They're they're winning, all right. Which which in, in reality, all right. According according to the scriptures, you're not, all right. According to how the uh, how the uh, how the Lord has set things up, you're predestined to lose in the end game, man. And you're losing now, all right. You have prophets, you have men of the Lord, you have uh, so called bums, so called regular degular people on the earth right now prophesying against your your kingdom man and telling you and letting you know that in very soon your your society your u.s dollar is going to collapse your society is going to fall all right it's going to your your and in, your inhabitations that your, your your nice palaces and your your, your paradise looking uh landscape and, and, and locations are on are all going to be destroyed due to the return of our power man due to the return of our savior yahweh shai all right who, you, who the world calls Jesus Christ, all right? And that's going to be a dark complexion man, all right? Dark skin, okay? It's about, it's about to take place. But I want to read 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26. It reads, For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, but the most I have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. All right. And what does that mean? Those and the, the people of this world uh, that you don't think uh, are special or are worthy to be listened to. All right. Have the truth. OK. Have the truth, man. Example, being the men of the Lord, as you see, the Hebrew Israelites teaching on the highways and byways week in and week out, pushing YouTube videos week in and week out. That you don't think, oh, nobody's going to pay attention. You're the, the low amount of subscribers, the, the low amount of views. All right. That's why the scriptures speak about a, your spiritual bank account storing up our, our treasures in heaven. It's not about these the, the carnal means that this world provides. And as you see, it, it means they, they have that they have that strangle on you. You see that with example being with Kyrie Irving. All right. It says verse 27, but the most high, but God have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. All right, the so-called wise, uh, the elites of this society, proving them wrong, man. Going to truth, going into the truth of the Bible, going into the the history, going into the prophecies, going into the the truth in the etymology of the words. All right, these people cannot get get with the program, man. They can't understand it because they don't have the Holy Spirit. Okay, 
It says, and God have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. All right. The Lord has chosen nine to five corporate workers, uh, high school and college dropouts to confound the mighty. Those CEOs, you know, executives, all right, vice presidents, all right, of this society thinking they're thinking they know it all and don't know shit. You know, you seen during the interview, uh, during the interview of Kyrie, he made he made one a response. He mentioned uh, I can't be anti S if I know where I come from. You hear one reporter. What does that mean? Dumbass, man. People don't research words, man. People don't didn't even look into it out of all this speculation, all these trending, trending news going on. You didn't you they didn't even take the time to look up the, the truth of the matter. All right. Because they don't care. They just want to come against. They just want to come against our people. You know, <laughs> it says verse 28. Of First Corinthians chapter one verse twenty eight, and the base things of the world and things which are despised have God chosen, yeah, and the things which are not to bring to naught things that are. All right, so the Lord's going to bring down all these strongholds and all the lies and all the idol worship, man, that the that the world sees in today. All right, the rappers, the professional athletes, going to all bring that very very low, so people can focus on and not be distracted by the world. Focus on the focus on the Lord and focus on the men of the Lord that's coming with the message of the Lord, man. That's coming in that right spirit. Okay. So for now, I want to also grab uh Matthew chapter 5. So this is Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. It reads, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's going to say, hey, just letting you know that we're in the house or or that this is not our risk. All right. We're not going to be thriving and striving, you know, living lavishly and glorious in this kingdom. No. That's not how the Lord has set it up for the men of the Lord. OK, verse four, blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted. Yeah, we, we're, we're in the house of mourning. All right, we're in the house, we, we're, we're crying out for all the wickedness and abomination that is done in this in this entire world, man, especially in America. All right. But we're going to be comforted, of course, through deliverance, through spiritual power, through protection in these in these troubling times that we're about to enter into. All right. Verse five. And then they didn't even let you know about that. Kyrie didn't even speak on those, the, the, you know, sp you know, I don't, I'm not sure if he is aware, you know, aware of the World War III that is prophesied in the Bible, the agenda of the Karagma in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, that device that is going to be implanted into you human bodies. All right. He didn't even, he didn't even, didn't even dive, he didn't even dive into what's about to take place to this earth. You know, it could have got a lot worse, but the Lord, you know, stirred up enough controversy to, to bring attention to the truth. And that's all you need more fuel for the fire, man. All right. Matthew chapter five, verse five. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Meek going into the humility, man. All right. It says, blessed are they which do hunger and thirst at the righteousness, for they shall be filled. OK, Thought of storing up our treasures in heaven, you know, spiritually eating it and drinking, man. OK, uh, verse seven. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the most high. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. All right. And that and, and being, uh, Kyrie being suspended for five games, or a minimum five games, that's persecution. But you have to endure that persecution, man. All right, they're gonna come after. They're gonna come after, like the scriptures mentioned, the base, the base of this world. They're gonna come at, at us a different way. They're gonna they're gonna try to slowly but surely take away our livelihood, man. All right, take away that shelter. Take take away, separate us from our all types of. This is this is what's coming towards the men of the Lord. All right, that persecution. Okay, verse eleven. But we know it's a state. It's a reward. Okay, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake, for the Lord's yet for Yahweh by Shem Shai's sake. That's what's going to be the difference. The people that these this word is not going to come against us because. We have the designer clothes or the big chains and all the money and fame. You know, they're going to come against us because we, the speaking of the truth of Yahweh by Shem Shai. It mentioned for his sake. That's what makes a difference. That's where that protection is going to and that head is going to come. And that's why it's going to come because we're doing it for the Lord's sake, man. All right. It's a sacrifice. OK, verse 12, it says rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Yeah, just as we re as we read about Job, you know, they uh coming against um Moses, okay? Come against really all the prophets that prophesied Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, 
All right, the prophets were always hated, man, because they hey, the world hates the truth. They hate they hate Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? Because the, the world doesn't know us personally. They just they hate the message that we're coming with, man. All right, they want to hear the smooth. They want to hear the prosperity doctrine, okay? And that's not what we're going to give them, man. People come to the true men of the Lord. We're going to give you straight, raw, and uncut, man. All right, and direct. All right. But concerning, you know, Kyrie, it's, it's, that's a tough position to be in because as the, as the scriptures read, Matthew chapter 19, verse 23, it reads, Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, who are the disciples, followers of Yahweh Shai. It says, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. So it's, it's a tough, that's a tough position to just lose everything when you have millions, man. You have the world at, at, so like at your fingertips, man, making 30 million a year, 40 million a year. Very comfortable. All right. And to just lose, you, you see, we've seen the example with Kanye West, you know, losing all types of endorsements, sponsorships, contracts. OK, in a blink of an eye because of the truth. This that shows you that this has to be the truth. We have to be the true Israelites. We have to be the true people of the Bible. OK, Judites. We have to be, we have to be those those people, man. OK, if it was because if it wasn't true, they wouldn't give a damn. All right. But now it, that shows that it is the truth. All right. For those that can catch it, for those that can sincerely believe in it. All right. And for those that can't, hey, you're already damned, you know, <laughs> verse 24, it says. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Yeah. Small space, man. Small, thin, super thin. And you got to squeeze between two cars. Super thin. It says. <laughs> then for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of the most high. Yeah, because that focus and that drive is not going to be there, man. All right. The Lord has chosen the base things, man. Those that are that, that are in a low place in this world. That's how the Lord has set it up. That's how he has them in the, has his world in the treat bag. Because it's about and that's because it takes a, a humble spirit and an acceptable spirit to listen to those that are base in this world. That takes a, especially if you're higher of, of a higher status than those that, that are teaching the word. You know, it it's going to take faith. It's going to take humility. And that's exactly what the Lord is looking for concerning the Israelites. OK, and I also want to grab first Maccabees because this is the same spirit that this world and the media, the especially the small hats. OK, the small hats. All right. Must know must know who they are. OK, Edomites. This is the same spirit that are coming in, man. This is first Maccabees chapter chapter one, verse 41. This is concerning the Greeks. When it, when the Israelites were under the under the Greek captivity, which are Edomites, okay, this is First Maccabees chapter one verse forty one. Listen to this. It says, "Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that that all should be one people, and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen, all right, all outside of the nation of Israel, all these other nations, agreed according to the commandment of of the king. Yeah, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion." And sacrifices to idols and profane the Sabbath. All right, because the, the Sabbath, which is you know our laws, command our commandments. All right, the Sabbath is all part of our heritage. That's our true culture of the Bible. This is all written in the scriptures. This is what we're supposed to be doing to this very day. All right, if we love the Most High, if we serve and worship Him. Okay, verse forty four. For the king has sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they shall follow the strange laws of the land. And forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple and that they should profane the Sabbaths and festival days and pollute the sanctuary and holy people. So, yeah, the, the, so King Antiochus of the Greeks of the Edomites, which you so-called white people today, basically coming with that. Uh, forget, forget, forget the Bible, forget your religion, forget, forget your power. Come do what we do. That's what he's presenting, you know, pollute the sanctuary and the holy people. And who are the holy people? The Israelites, man. All right. That's why it's our time to wake up, repent, uh, stop doing the wickedness and, and turn and serve the true power. Yahweh by Shem Shai and work and rehearse the righteous acts of the scriptures before it is too late. OK, so first Maccabees chapter one, verse 47, continuing on, set up altars and groves and, and chapels of idols and sacrifice swine's flesh and unclean beasts that they should also leave their children uncircumcised. See, these are all things of our heads. We circumcise our children on the eighth day. We don't eat pork. We don't un, un, we don't eat unclean foods that are mentioned within the dietary laws of the scriptures. All right, but then what are the Edomites saying? No, you we're gonna do all these things. This this just complete wickedness. This is all going on to this very day. 
Okay, verse 48, that they shall also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable for all manner of uncleanliness and, pro and, and profanation. Verse 49, to the end, they might forget their law and change all their ordinances. And that's exactly what has taken place, man. Our people have forgotten. And this, but this is all due, due to our punishment from the Lord because we turn our back against, against him. All right. For, verse 50. It says, and whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said he should die. All right. But you all and that's and they're coming in that same spirit. They're coming in that same spirit. Just, they, right now, they're just coming in the more. Are oh, we going to find you? We're going to suspend you. Are oh, we going to we're going to blast you to the media and, and, and blast your name and just uh speak falsely. All right. And see how you react. All right. This is Kyrie. They're just putting forth an example. A great example of that. They're putting forth someone that's, uh, you know, highly um, esteemed, you know, especially in the sports world, especially in the, in the Israelite, um, truly among the Israelites. All right. So when I was when I say uh, talking about generally the you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you're, you're, you look, you know, it's like an idol, you know. So he's, he's grabbing, he's grabbing, you know, throwing it to the forefront. Or do you want to you want to take lead after this? Well, watch what happens. You know, and the things that and think that is to scare the true men of the Lord, which is not doing a damn thing. So to speak about if it were all at all possible to deceive the very elect, which means it, it is not possible to deceive the elect. Man, it's, though, these these little scare tactics and fear, whatever they're trying to, you know, attempt to do concerning these uh, high esteem, you know, celebrities and professional athletes. No, hey, man, the men of the Lord are not and it, because it's according to the Lord's will. The men of the Lord are not going to fold. The men of the Lord are not going to backtrack. We're not going to look back. All right. Because those that look back are not fit for the kingdom of the most high. All right. Not fit for deliverance. All right. So we're not, we're not going to risk that. So this is first, first Maccabee chapter one, verse 11. For you coons out there, man. Hella coons. All right. Concerning our people. Hella coons, man. All right. The, the Charles Barkley, the Shacks. Just coons, man. All right. Our people love. Our oppressor, man. Our people love the so-called white man. Our people love the Edomites. They love the money in this society they provide. Well, guess what? All right, guess what? This is about to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles according to Bible prophecy in our lifetime. Whether you believe it or not, this was about to happen. It's going to happen, man. For you Shaqs, you Charles Barkleys, it's so many coons. Oh, Amari Stonemeyer, people coming against Kyrie Irving and, every, and everybody that's with it. They, this is them. First Maccabees chapter one, verse 11. In those days concerning the, under the Israelites under the Greek captivity, in those days went there out of Israel, wicked men who persuaded many saying, let us go and make covenant with the heathen. So let us go make an agreement with the heathen, these other nations that we're not even supposed to be involved with and following after. It says, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. Yeah, struggling. You know, down and out, base, low, all right, as the men of the Lord are in these days. But those that make a covenant sign sign their life away, sellouts, all right? What are they doing on the media, on the broadcast, talking down on the Israelites, talking down on the message? All right, because they're coons, man. They're, these are the same Israelites in the, in the time of the Maccabees, man. The same Israelites. But this time is going to come judgment, going to get put to death by Yahweh, by Shema, as simple as that. Because the scriptures speak about repent or perish, all right? Repent. Turn back from your wicked ways and serve the Lord or die. All right. Or die. It's that simple, man. All right. So I want to end off by um second Maccabees chapter six, verse six. It reads, This is also which very it correlates in itself. It says, Neither was it lawful for a man to keep the Sabbath days or ancient fast, or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. All right. Neither was it law lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient fasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. Is that not happening with Kanye West and Kyrie Irving, man? Has that not just has that not just taken place? OK, they hate the truth, man. We are the people of the book. And it, this has cl clearly been shown. OK, so it's, it's, it's clearly our time. It's time for our people to wake the hell up. Wake up out of this society. Wake up out of the 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 law, the uh, the lies and deceit under the the so called white man's uh, ball sack. <laughs> All right, and wake up to your true identity, your true nationality, and the truth of the Bible. You know, and it was and what's going to be reward of that? Salvation, deliverance in a time of trouble. 
Okay, deliverance from the missiles, deliverance from judgment from Yahweh Shah himself. It's going. It's it's a it's a it's a light at the end of the tunnel, man. Okay, it's just not about knowing your Hebrew Israelite. It's more to it. All right, a lot more to it at that. Okay, but I ended off there, and Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying and also encouraging to our people, man. All right, I will end off by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, Shalom.